Throughout history, humans have always been drawn to the unknown and wonder about the future. Prophecies, in a way, are an attempt to gaze into that future. They offer a vision, often cryptic and symbolic, of what may come to pass. But what if those prophecies, shrouded in ancient language, are speaking of a future that was difficult to describe? What if the Antichrist beast was a bio-enhanced artificial man? The book of Revelation speaks of a global dictator who uses advanced technology to impose a mark on everyone's forehead or the back of their hand and is called the beast. In the book of Revelation, there are three beasts. The first beast is called the dragon, the second is called the beast, and the third is called the false prophet. The dragon is Lucifer, the spiritual entity in control. The beast is known as the Antichrist, who will impose the mark, and the third beast is called the false prophet, who is a religious leader. What if the beast of the book of Revelation, could it be that the mark of the beast refers refers to a form of nanotechnology integrated with humans. The possibility, whilst seemingly very outlandish, is worth considering. Microscopic robots, smaller than the width of a human hair, are no longer in the realm of science fiction. They are being developed in labs around the world, capable of tasks ranging from drug delivery to tissue repair. Imagine a swarm of these microscopic machines programmed to interact with the human body at a cellular level. Simultaneously, the field of artificial tissue engineering is making remarkable strides. In a scientific breakthrough, Japanese scientists have found a way to attach artificially created living skin to robot faces for more realistic smiles and facial expressions skin that can be grafted onto burn victims and used in cosmetic surgery. This skin, while impressive, is only the beginning. But looking at the advances in technology, it could be entirely feasible. Imagine if artificial skin could be embedded with sensors. What if we considered the word beast itself? as an acronym, appearing human but is not. What if BEAST stands for bio-enhanced artificial skin tissue? This interpretation, while unconventional, aligns with the advancement we've just discussed. Imagine a new kind of being, one not born in the traditional sense, but crafted. Its very flesh a testament to human ingenuity. This beast could possess capabilities far beyond that of a normal human being. Its bio-enhanced skin could grant superhuman strength, even the ability to interface with technology. And it makes everyone take the mark in the right hand or the forehead that no one could buy or sell anything unless he had the mark the name of the beast or the number of its name the mark of the beast in this context could be a form of a nano technological implant a symbol of allegiance to this new power the lines between ancient prophetic writings and modern science is becoming increasingly blurred for all will not be as it seems for those who take upon themselves the mark of the beast and its embedded nanotechnology. For more information on this, watch my video, The Zombie Apocalypse. When and how? The Bible speaks. This being, who or what it turns out to be, will be very real. Although the Bible does not specify the nationality of the Antichrist, traditional interpretations often place his origins within the boundaries of the former Roman Empire and the kingdoms mentioned tie into the Middle East and Europe. In the last days, just before the return of Jesus Christ, and his people, the Jews, will be persecuted. But Jesus Christ promised to return to put this world right. Watch, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. But my main messages have always been to remind you that the Lord Jesus Christ is returning to this earth to set up his righteous kingdom 
that you can be part of today. So accept him as your Lord and Saviour. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Thank you for watching. Please share, like and subscribe if you think any of this could possibly be true. And until the next time, bye for now.